Hey, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, we got Monique responding back to her checking Steve Harvey live and the reason why she had did that. Comedy Hype did an interview with Monique four years ago, and I would like to highlight a little bit of that. And then I will highlight the clip of Monique checking Steve Harvey again, just in case if you guys had missed that video I covered yesterday. And yeah, guys, I wanted to highlight that real quick. And then after that, we have Steve Harvey responding back to Cat Williams. And I would like to highlight that video as well in today's video. So with that being said, guys, I don't want to hold you guys too long with my commentary. Let's get right into these clips. Be sure to smash that thumbs up button for me if you haven't already. Hit that like button, guys. That really does help support my YouTube channel. I really do appreciate that, guys. I can't say that enough. So with that being said, guys, let's check out these clips right here. Here's the video. And let me say this, and I, I'll try to say this with love, but I say it because that's how I feel. I've never met so many cowards in our black men in show business. I've never met so many black men that have no goddamn backbone. And what happens in our community, they've got us chasing the bag and not principle and not integrity. Because when all of that start hitting and all that start going on, I heard my brother with my own ears say, she's burned too many bridges and I don't know if there's anything I can do for her. And that hurt my feelings because I'm like, brother, you never pick up the phone and say, hey, Mo, what's going on? Before you went on the air and you said to millions of listeners, she's burned too many bridges. You were a part of pushing that agenda before you even asked me what was going on. So when I got on the show, I knew I needed to have that conversation because you wasn't returning my calls. You wasn't returning my text. See, I gave you the opportunity to have a private come when people say, why didn't you talk to him privately? I gave him the opportunity to do that. My texts and my calls went unanswered and unreturned. And someone would say, well, why wouldn't you return it? If you put out there that we have this relationship and this friendship. But when it came about, oh, you're going against the powers that be. And I want the powers to be that no, I'm not on that side. So I'm going to say what it's going to take for them to know I'm on, I'm with the machine. No, I did nothing wrong. Y'all know my husband did nothing wrong. But none of y'all in real time, in real time was strong enough to go publicly and say, we can't throw our sister under the bus. All of y'all said privately, we, I've done nothing wrong. When you tell the truth, you have to deal with the repercussions of the truth. We black out here. We can't come out here and do this any kind of way we want to. Let me, listen. It's the money game. This ain't the black man's game. This ain't the white man's game. It's this is the, the money, money game. game. But I, we in the money game. And We're you cannot sacrifice yourself. The we best are. thing you can do for this poor people is not be brother. one of them. You cannot We're help them. We're in the money them. game. But let me tell you what the game is before the money game. Like before the money game, it's called the integrity game. And we've lost the integrity worrying about the money. But Mo, and wait a minute. if wait I a minute. crumble, if you my crumble, children crumble, my grandchildren crumble. I cannot, for the sake of my integrity, stand up here and let everybody that's counting on me crumble so I can make a statement. Okay, so like I was saying, that's Monique talking about Steve Harvey in a comedy hype interview. You guys definitely got to go check that out. If you guys missed that interview, it is four years old. And yeah, man, you can hear Monique talk about Steve Harvey picking that side. Doesn't that sound like Cat Williams when he was talking about Steve Harvey picking that side? That's what Cat Williams said in a Club Shay Shay interview. They pay you to not talk about things. So Monique was already talking about these people picking sides four years ago, man. But it went unheard because Steve Harvey and the people that's a part of his group, they all labeled Monique difficult, man. And that was the narrative that was constantly pushed out about Monique. And that's why she was talking about Steve Harvey. How can Steve Harvey go on national television or his radio show, wherever he said that about Monique, you put out a narrative. But yet you won't have a conversation with her behind the scenes. So I'm glad Monique went on his talk show and checked him live about that. And he pretty much exposed himself what side that he's on and that he's bought and paid for. Like I said, I did a video covering that. It's a great video. It's already over a million views, man. You guys should go check that out. And I'll have the link to that down below if you guys want to go check out that video. So in the next portion of today's video, we got Steve Harvey responding back to Cat Williams. 
this video popped up in my algorithm. So with that being said, let's check out this video right here because Steve Harvey was firing back at Cat Williams talking about what happened between him and Cat in Detroit. Steve Harvey touched on that and he actually said Cat Williams name in the interview. So I would like to highlight that. Let's get right into this clip. Here's a video. You know, I've always been on tour with, with, with some real monsters, man. I toured yeah. with the Kings. You know, I've been on stage with Sid, DL, and Bernie Mac at the same time. It's always been a camaraderie. Right. You know what I mean? We're going out here to give the people the best show we can give them. And that's the way we've always promoted comedy shows. Now, you know, to turn this into some type of little beef, that ain't got nothing to do with me. That ain't how I do. Now, you know, I done heard all of the YouTubes and I done heard all the interviews and all like that. But that ain't got nothing to do with me. So this is a little beef thing that everybody want to want to start because you want to make a name for yourself. That's cool. Do you? You ain't going to do it right here, though. You, you, you ain't going to build no reputation on Steve Harvey. So I've been doing this a long time. So now, whatever you're going to do is cool. Just do you. You do you. See, I have nothing to prove. All I got to do is keep being Steve Harvey that he's been for over 20 years. Yeah. Or walking out there on stage. Yeah. And bringing that sunshine. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to bring it. But, you know, when you hear all the chatter, you know, it, it, it kind of, you go. So it kind of hit you? Kind of like, I mean, it was a little unexpected. For what? Yeah. For what? But, you uh, know, like I always And we say, love you. Bro, look here. We little love dogs, you. little dogs bark the most. <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> but now, please understand that a Rottweiler that got off the plane last night in Detroit. See, here's, here's what my father taught me. The reason I ain't been coming into town getting all of this back and forth. Yeah. This is what my father told me a long time ago. Dogs don't bark at park cars. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? They only bark at a car that's moving. But now when you run your little ass over there and you and the car stop, you got to get right back up on your porch. Because that car now, the car might start up again. Don't get your little tail mashed. <laughs> but you know, it's like this though, Frank. You know, I always been real cool with cat. You know, it, 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 it should have been like this, you know. Oh, if you're going to take that angle, yeah. what you should have did was call your boy up and say, hey, man, look, I'm just going to be selling some tickets. This how I'm going to do it. Yeah. You know, but let me know. Because if you're going to use my name as the stepping stone mm -hmm. so you can, like he say, try to prove that he number one. Right. I took my family on vacation. You know, I was out with my kids playing and stuff. You know, we've been hanging out. I come back and... All this stuff on YouTube, all these interviews over Detroit, all these radio stations. I got family up here, friends. Yeah. You know, Steve, man, when you gonna say something? I don't gotta say nothing. I am the original Kings of Comedy. Right. That's and I can go with that right there. Right. Now until you done sold them kind of tickets, move them numbers, and you done been on the stage with some more gorillas. See it's cool when you've been the only gorilla gorillas. on stage. Yeah. But I've been on stage with Mo Gorillas. When you've been the only giant on the stage, and you got to share a stage with another giant, there should be a sense of humility about that. There should be a sense of respect. And right now, it just ain't no respect. You understand? So yeah, guys, that's Steve Harvey's response. I would like for y'all to get in the comment section down below. I would love to hear y'all thoughts about today's video. Be sure to hit that like button if you made this far in the video. Don't forget to subscribe up as well. I'll catch you guys on the next video, guys, and we out, guys. Peace.